We'll continue that really nice weather pattern into much of this week. We're just going to turn things up a little bit. Your AC will likely be working in just a few days. See, that is telling us that there's likely some sort of rotation kicking up debris into the air. Wheatland, if you're not in your safe place right now, you need to be underground. And there's generators going in many homes, but the ones without generators, the folks have been sitting outside in many cases because at least you get a little bit of a breeze. Based on our estimates and some photos I've been looking at on social media, things are running about two to three weeks behind schedule. Plainwell is called the Island City because of the mill race itself. Back in the 1850s, several structures were built in order to divert the Kalamazoo River to create power for the paper mill you see here. Now the gate there hasn't served its purpose in decades. It now creates a safety hazard and barrier for fish and recreation along the river. There's also noted rotation within this thunderstorm. If you have a basement, get underground. That's the safest place to be. Overall, a beautiful night for some football on a Friday. We love that. From Grand Rapids down towards, say, South Haven or the Benton Harbor area, that also could be a little bit dicey. If you are outside for lunch, maybe not a good day to have the napkins on the table. They may blow down the street. And that causes the rain that's falling within that thunderstorm to really cool the air behind the leading edge of the storm. While you may not be buckling up those ski boots here this weekend, all hope for winter fun is not lost. You can still buckle up your skates here at South Haven's Outdoor Ice Rink. So make sure you're taking it extra slowly this morning and looking well ahead in the roadway. There could be some damage. Temperatures right now hovering right around 50 degrees. As we get closer to game time though, we're gonna be probably a little bit closer to 40. So that's just between now and about seven o'clock. Temperatures dropping about 10 degrees or so. So don't be caught off guard. Yeah, I would imagine some of our area ski hills, uh, skiers, snowboarders pretty happy with some of the snow we woke up to this morning. It was anywhere from close to five inches or just above that one mention or one location to mention Matawan area, just over five inches reported. That's not highlighted here, uh, but you can see Kalamazoo. We measured about three and a half. And then as we look at just some other area totals, Athens, for example, a little south of Battle Creek, about three, Coldwater, three, two, and about three to five inches again was uh, uh, kind of the give or take average, if you will, across our area. It brings our monthly total to just over 16 inches. And so that makes this January the snowiest in a few years since 2019 when we saw a, just over 27 inches. We're still lacking, though, in terms of our, our, our season total, thanks to a very tame December. M43, still some snow in the middle lane. And I think this is telling of what many of our, even some of our main roads still look like. Snow in spots on the shoulder, sometimes uh, still in that center lane. So you still have to use some extra caution through early tomorrow morning. That and the additional snow on the way not going to make things uh, too fun for travel, at least in the next couple of days. Just give yourself some extra time. As we look at satellite and radar here, there's another clipper system, the same sort of setup that brought our snow last night into this morning. It arrives for tomorrow throughout the day before some lake effect takes over. So here's the timing of our snowfall. It arrives right around sunrise, especially at the lakeshore. So if you're maybe coming into Grand Rapids, for example, from out towards Ottawa County, Mesquite, County, you could have to deal with some snow. Also, I-196 from Grand Rapids down towards, say, South Haven or the Benton Harbor area. That also could be a little bit dicey, even for the morning commute. Then that snow continues to spread in throughout the day. Temperatures only warm into the middle to upper 20s tomorrow. Most of the snow is wrapping up by around dinner time before that lake effect sets up on a north-northwesterly wind tomorrow night through early Tuesday. That wind will slowly migrate a little bit of that lake effect uh, inland by Tuesday afternoon and evening. It should be fairly light, but it's lingering throughout much of the day. So it's almost a two-tier event, if you will. So it's the clipper system tomorrow then the lake effect from late Monday through Tuesday evening. So we're breaking it down uh, in those two time frames. And as you can see tomorrow, many of us between about one to three inches of snow, the only location that could see a little bit more up towards maybe Ottawa, Muskegon County. Then as we look at the lake effect setup, I think anywhere from two to five inches looks feasible, especially at the immediate lakeshore. Now farther inland, probably just another inch or two added on to whatever we see tomorrow. And it's because of those more significant impacts in the lake effect that we have the winter weather advisory from 4 a.m. tomorrow through 7 p.m. on Tuesday. Slick travel, you know the drill. And it's going to be a light and fluffy snow, so unfortunately for the kiddos, this isn't really a frosty snow in terms of snowman building. But it is good for us that have to do the plowing or maybe the shoveling, the snow blowing, because it's a little bit lighter. It's easier to move. 17 right now in Kalamazoo as we look at your Celia Auto Group 7-day forecast. One trend you're going to note here, we stay below freezing until next Sunday, so 
those ice, icy lakes and uh, Lake Michigan even may have a little bit more of an ice shelf by the end of the week and really cold for Wednesday. Oh, super, a little bit of a rinse repeat situation over the next couple days. Yeah, broken record forecast, at least for the next 24 <laughs> hours. We'll have to watch that lake effect on Tuesday. Awesome, thank you so much, Will. Yeah. This was a gorgeous shot sent in from Paula up in Comstock and last night around midnight, she says she was walking her dachshunds and saw this gorgeous pinkish glow in the sky. Kind of weird, especially given that it was midnight. And then this shot shared from Rick, this was at the uh, cork sprinkle interchange that roundabout there looking to the northeast so not far from where Paula was located the culprit behind this based on uh, a quick search and kind of a map of where they were at there's a lot of greenhouses right here if you're familiar along Market Street in Comstock and it's light actually from those greenhouses and LED lights that they use that's actually reflecting off of the really low clouds that have been hanging overhead in the last couple of days. So a really cool phenomenon. You can read more about it right now on our homepage, www.mt.com. South Haven right now, that ice shelf continues to get a little bit smaller and there was a decent amount of wave action today. Temperatures right now in the upper 30s. Most of the precipitation that's falling though overhead is all rain for most of us. The only exception to that is way up north in portions of Nuego, Macasta, and Montcalm counties where there have been some trace reports of some snowflakes mixing in. As we go hour by hour, this precipitation get, keeps going for maybe another hour or two. Then it's just mainly uh, clearing skies for the morning hours tomorrow. Possibly some patchy fog as indicated there out up or up towards Allegan, Ottawa, and Muskegon counties especially. That's where the models are kind of hinting at it, so just keep that in mind. As we get into lunch hour, we're in the middle 40s, already warmer than we were today, and then for tomorrow afternoon, look at that, middle 50s by around 5 o'clock should feel lovely. Tomorrow, it's good timing because it's the kickoff of spring. Uh, that spring equinox signifies the time of year. Those suns, m the sun's most direct rays are lifting north of the equator. We get a more direct sun angle, and obviously right now the day and night, essentially 12 hours, they're equal, but those are going to continue to, uh, those days get longer and longer. We love that. Monday right now is looking like middle to upper 60s, warm air being pumped in from the southwest. A little bit cooler if you're farther north. There's a boundary stalled right through West Michigan. Temperatures a little bit of a roller coaster later in the week, but for the most part not too bad for this time of year even upper 50s on Wednesday that does come with our next weather maker though the biggest change to your forecast a little bit more rain on Tuesday we're upping that chance a little bit and then for Wednesday depending on how this system tracks we could either see some upper 50s possibly a run at 60 degrees or maybe a little bit chillier we're kind of splitting the difference with our high of 58 but you can see there's still a little bit of disagreement in the models there we'll have to watch that closely for Wednesday 38 though right now in Kalamazoo let's take you out live Look at that really low cloud cover. At times in the last day or so, those clouds were a mere 200 feet off the surface of the earth. It's almost so low you could practically touch them. Maybe not, but uh, I'm pretty tall. Celia Auto Group, seven day forecast, and you can see those rain chances Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Heading into next weekend, we dry out and temperatures near average. Upper 50s, that's average for this time of year, and our low is inching closer to 30 for an average low. Great start to our work week, uh, the start of spring. It's going to feel great on Monday. Everyone loves that. Great news. Thank you so much, Will. Yeah.